praise the Lord on this Sabbath yes, day. Yes, praise you, Lord. Thank you. And Tina and I are here, and we're studying the Word and praising God. Praising God and, and talking. And, and there's an awesome revelation that God gave us. Mm-hmm. He gave this he gave to us, us today, today on the Sabbath, on the Sabbath day. to understand who we Ooh. are. Ooh. Anyway. We need to understand who we are. Yes. I know, Major, but you need to let me do this, baby. Okay. Come I, 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 before she prays, because I love for my sister to pray. She prays awesome. God blesses her prayers. Don't think they don't. She don't. They That's don't. Awesome. But anyway. This is a very important word that God has given both of us to give you together two yes. witnesses, okay? Yes. Two witnesses, not the two witnesses no. that will end up in Israel. No, no, no. 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 That's but Leon. we are just Leon. two witnesses of his watchmen on the wall. Yes. He gave us you confirming a the beginning of the I, water studies. You're oh, saying all those words. Yes. Yeah, I know. He he gave us yes. such a vision today. It is important that you you receive the word, especially those that are called, called to be the bride. bride right now. It is important. Yes. Important. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father Yahweh, Lord Yeshua Hamashiach and Rah Kadesh. Lord, we come boldly to your throne of grace today and we give yes. you all the honor and glory and praise. And we thank you and we love you and we praise you. We thank you for everything. We thank you for who you are, Father. We thank you for your Son. We thank you, Lord Yeshua, for taking our place. We thank you for shedding your blood for us so that we can come before you. Thank you. We thank you for defeating death and taking the victory. And for rising again and preparing a place for us right now. We thank you for every special gift upon us. Every blessing upon us. And we thank you most of all for choosing us. Because that is what you have shown us today in your word. Yes. Father God, you made the covenant with us yourself. Yes. yes. So, Rahakadesh, I pray and ask that you will fill Barbara and I up. And please bless us with your yes. words of truth to speak today. Ooh, yes. And please open the hearts yes. of the people to hear and receive these words of truth from your word. Yes, Father. We love you and praise you and bless your holy name. In Yeshua's yes. name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Okay, we're going to go to Genesis 15. And I want her to read it out of the Jewish, complete Jewish Bible. Don't want to offend nobody, but it needs to be read out of this. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, Lord. Okay, some time later, the word of Adonai came, came to Abram in a vision. Don't be afraid, Abram. I am your protector. Your reward will be very great. You hear that right there? He's yes. our protector. Oh, yes, he is. Our protector. God himself said, I am your protector. Okay? And your reward will be very great. Abram replied, Adonai God, what good will your gifts be me if I continue childless? And now this is before, before Hagar was given. Hagar was given yep. to him. This before any child was birthed or born. Yep. He had the promise of having many children, but he hadn't had one yet. And Eli Ezer from Damasek, which is Damascus, inherits my possessions. You haven't given me a child, Abram continued, so someone born in my house will be my heir. But the word of Adonai came to him. This man will not be your heir. No, your heir will be a child from your uh, own body. Now let us know that who he was speaking of is his servant, his mm -hmm. very deep trusted servant, servant okay. okay, that he was talking about, that Abraham or Abram, before he got the name Abraham, he, he was going to give it to his servant. Yeah, because that's what they did then. If you didn't yeah. have children, they passed it to their closest servant. Okay. Then he brought him outside and said, look up at the sky mm -hmm. and count the stars. Now, back then, we didn't have the pollution and all the stuff that blocked the sky, okay? Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, when mm -hmm. Abram looked up at that sky, Whoa. there were millions. Okay, the universe is bigger than we can imagine. you got to watch that video. Um, <laughs> the universe, God is bigger than we can imagine. We can yes. fathom in our human brains, yes. okay? He okay. is. He's he is. Bar Barb gave you an awesome vision she had of God and how big he is, okay? The universe is huge. Huge. Stars. Millions of them. So he looked up and he's seen these stars. And God says, if you can count them, 
Your descendants will be that many, and we're talking generation after generation all the way down the line, okay? To right now. To now. Because generations are yep. here now. Okay? Your descendants will be that many. God is promising him that right mm -hmm. there. He believed in Adonai, and he credited it to him as righteousness, which Hebrews confirms. Yeah, because see, he, it's like, uh, you know, somebody tells you something, and he could have went, yeah, right. Yeah. I ain't got no kids. How do you say in that? But no, he just believed him. He believed him because he was God. Okay. Then he said to him, I am Adonai who brought you out from Ur Kazdim to give you this land as your possession. He replied, Adonai God, how am I to know that I will possess it? He answered him, Bring me a three year old cow, a three year old female goat, and a three year old ram, and a dove, and a young pigeon. He brought him all these, cut the animals in two, and placed the pieces opposite each other. But he didn't cut the birds in half. Birds of prey swooped down on the carcasses, but Abram drove them away. As the sun was mm -hmm. about to set, because you know Jewish days go from sunset to sunset, mm -hmm. a deep sleep fell on Abram. Horror and great darkness came over him. Mm -hmm. Adonai said to Abram, Know this for certain. Your descendants will be foreigners in a land that is not theirs. And what did, what did the Jews, the Hebrews, have to do? They had to go take Israel. Yes. Okay. The Remember that? Land, they, had they had to go, go take, take it. it. They will be slaves and held in oppression there for 400 years. And we all know the story of Egypt and Moses. Yep. He told him right he there. He told him. He, he prophesied. Said, God prophesied to Abram right there. He said, your people's going to be spend 400 years in, in bondage. Egypt in bondage. Mm -hmm. He already told okay. him. Okay. But I will also judge that nation, the one that makes them slaves. Afterwards, they will leave with many possessions. And isn't that exactly what happened mm -hmm. when God judged Pharaoh and Pharaoh hardened his heart? Mm -hmm. The Jews, the Hebrews, went and took Egyptians' gold, their jewelry, their possessions with them. They just walked right in and took mm -hmm. it. And God's word yes. says that, okay? As for you, you will join your ancestors in peace and be buried at a good old age. Only in the fourth generation will your descendants come back here because only then... Will the Amori be ripe for punishment? Because where was this taking place at, Barb? Where was this where was this sacrifice taking place at? It was taking place in Israel. Yes. Okay, remember Abram had traveled all over? Mm-hmm. This sacrifice was taking place in, in Israel. See, it in would that be the promised land. In the promised land. Because he was traveling through the promised right. land. Okay. He, but he didn't know it, you know. Yeah, he just didn't. Know he just didn't know it all yes, yet. But God was telling him right okay. here. Yes, that's where it was. Yes, because right we there. know that when he took Isaac up, where did he take Isaac to? Jerusalem, Jerusalem. to Mount Moriah. And I think this is where this was happening. This is where in this Mount was happening Moriah. because yes. where does God make covenants? On, On Jerusalem. His mountain. On the city that bears His name, Jerusalem bears His name. Yes. Okay. All right. So we had to wait. They had to wait for the fourth generation to come back because someone had to be punished. The Amori. Okay. After the sun had set and there was thick darkness, a smoking fire pot and a flaming torch appeared, which passed between these animal parts. Uh, now, before uh, I, I go uh, any further, it was thick, thick darkness. Thick darkness. Why? Because he couldn't see. Because Abraham was not supposed to see the face of God. No, he couldn't see him. No. Nope. Nor the people around. You know, he had people traveling with him, remember? He had yep. Sarah and yep. Lot and, and Right, so it was traveling. a thick darkness. And you need to understand in the word covenant in Hebrew, in, in the strong concordance is 1285. Thank you, Lord. It, it's bereath from 1262 in the sense of cutting like 1254. It's a compact, a promise, mm -hmm. because made by passing between pieces of flesh. Okay, and when you look at 1262 it's bara a primary root mm -hmm. to select mm -hmm. also as a denomination 1250 to feed mm -hmm. to render clear to render clear to render clear and how are we Thank rendered you. clear by the blood of yeshua hamashiach yes. because he made the covenant on the cross yes. okay all right and also you need to understand the word broken and that was 7665 lord yeah you got yeah i got it marked right thank you 7665 means broken because here's what because we're going to show you how god finds beauty in the broken today all right 7665 stands for broken and it's shabar it's another primary root in hebrew it means to burst mm -hmm. break down break off break in pieces break up broken down 
um, broken hearted, bring to the birth, crush, destroy, hurt, quench. And all of you who have been broken, you know what it's like. It's yes. exactly what it yes. says here. Okay, so we know what these words mean. So here we go. That day, Adonai, God himself, Father God, Yahweh himself, yes. made a covenant with Abram. He made the covenant. Yes. Abram didn't make the covenant. God, God himself God made the covenant. Made you the need covenant. to understand the importance. He wrote this on our hearts today as we're talking. He made mm. the covenant. Yes. Okay? I have given this land to your descendants from the Vadi of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates River, the territory of the Kenai, the Kenizi, the Kadmoni, the Hittai, the Perizzi, the Rephaim, the Amorai, the Kenanai, the Gergashai, and the Yuvusi. Yes. God promised that mm -hmm. land to the descendants of Avram from beginning, from, from Avram all the way mm -hmm. down. He they had made. to wait till the fourth generation to walk in, but he promised it to them. Yes, he sure did. And that did. is the importance that you need to see here, that God himself made yes. the covenant. And it was God. See, normally, and Abraham was oh, privy to this, being raised and born in, amongst the Chaldeans. Yep, in Kazdim, in when, Babylon. When you sacrifice anything, you, you know, you cut the pieces of meat, and you got one laying here, and you got the other piece laying there. It's like you cut the, it right in half, and you lay that piece over here, and you lay over there. So rulers, when they would make covenants with each other, and they would have a burnt sacrifice yes. to, to a, yes, to kind of put the stamp of seal on the covenant they're making, that both leaders would walk together down between the two pieces of meat that's laying there. They would walk together sealing the covenant. Yes. On this, Abraham did not mm -hmm. walk with God. God covered him with darkness. God covered him with darkness, and he... God himself, himself walked, walked down this path between the two meats and speaking these words, making a covenant with Abraham because it wasn't Abraham's choice to make a covenant. It was God's, God's choice, choice because he's seen him in the land of Chaldea and he's seen in his heart a perfection, a love of a higher power than what he was serving down there in the Chaldeans because they served the moon goddess. They studied the stars. They they were stargazers mm -hmm. and star worshipers and moon worshipers and all of this stuff. But Abraham's heart was not into, into that it. kind yep. of that stuff. And God saw the perfection that was in Abraham's heart but needed to be kindled and set it far yeah. in Abraham. So he's walking through this path, making this covenant. He's saying, Abraham, I'm making a covenant with you. I'm not only making a covenant with you, I'm this. making a covenant with every seed that's in your loins. Amen. Because in his loins, he had Isaac, Jacob, all uh, from everyone, all and yep. even Ishmael. He had the seed of yes. Ishmael in there because... He birthed him mm -hmm. to an Egyptian woman. That's why you Muslims need to come out of your Muslim belief and turn back to the one true God of heaven, Yahweh. Because there is a scripture that says he will be blessed. Yes. There is. Yes. I pray for them. Yeah. Because there's a scripture. The Lord laid that on my heart a long time to, to go to pray for you because yeah. it says in the word of God, there is a blessing on Ishmael's line because he came from Abram's loins. Yes. So and yes, see, there is a blessing on you, but you got to walk out of it and come to Yeshua. Yes. Because he blessed all the seeds of Abraham at that moment. Because Car uh, Abraham, you don't understand people <coughs> that Excuse me. Their seed was carried in Abraham before they were even pronounced to be Israel. Before any one of the men that represented the 12 tribes of Israel ever was birthed. There was a seed in, inside of Abraham that God blessed throughout generations. He did. And he was telling him, I'm making a covenant with you, 
Abraham. I'm giving you a promise, Abraham. You're not making a covenant with me. I am making one with you, and I will never, ever, inv uh, uh, you know, disavow it. I will keep it. I promise. I promise you, Abraham, you will always have a seed here upon this yes. earth that's what a israel that's why i'm telling you people and i want you to get to understanding you jewish haters that oh yeah he loves israel yep it's the apple of the and eye. he will bring israel totally back, back. because he made a promise yes. to god Abraham. himself made the promise he made the covenant he made the promise and he also says that he will write his laws on their heart. Mm -hmm. He will cleanse them. He will take them out of their crud. Yep. He will wash them off mm -hmm. his self. He will bring them back to him, even kicking and screaming. Yeah. He's going to bring them back. They yeah. may not want to, but he's going to bring them back. Because he promised. What? Because of Abraham. Yeah. I promise you, Abraham, yep, I'm going to do this. If I don't do this, then I become a liar, and I will have to dissolve. Now, I know it's not there in that scriptures, but he's, his promises are solid, binding forever, ever. ever, ever. If he breaks one of his promises, he will have to dissolve heaven. So, just interject, you can read in Genesis 21, 14 about the promise to Ishmael. You know what? Here's what the, here's the bottom line. We've talked about this. We've had we've had examples come up to mm -hmm. us. Uh, we've had people say to us, "Forgive me, Lord. Satan has the victory." I'm telling you what, yeah. God's authority will take over you and say, "Yeshua Hamashiach took the victory that day on the cross when he mm -hmm. went down and he defeated death and he took the keys from Satan right from his hand. Mm -hmm. He took them right from his hand. Do you understand yes. that? Yeshua Hamashiach has the victory. Yes. The Son of God has, has the, the victory. victory. We have the victory through him. Don't forget that who has the victory. Because and you can't make God yes. out to be a liar because that's what Satan is trying to do. This yes. water study we're getting ready to do, it's all about Yeshua HaMashiach and God mm -hmm. and visions, but it's it's to know your enemy. That's yes. why we've been and why and honestly it's why it's taken me so long to put it out because yes. Even though God says to me you need to know your enemy, I fought God because I didn't want to know my enemy. I mm -hmm. love Yeshua HaMashiach with all my heart, and I love Father God Yahweh with yes. all my heart. And the Rock and dwells upon in me and and through me. And and yes. so, uh, you got you. Barb will testify. I have fought God on this one because yes. um, I didn't want to. Uh, forgive me, Lord. I did. I just did not want to do this study. But it's a deep study that we need to know. Yes. Because we're not fighting fleshly battles nope we not. are fighting spiritual battles to the end now yes and we got to know the and, enemy and so, to win anytime you go into a battle, battle even got in to a country know. a country against a country believe me if america goes to war with russia it's not because she don't know russia nope. she knows russia's strength yep she knows Russia's weaknesses. She knows how to go in battle with yep. Russia to win. That's the way you fight wars. If you don't know your enemy, you cannot win. So God wants you to know that He made the promises. Yes. He made the covenants. He it, He did it Himself. He chose yes. us Himself. Yes. Because in and our he hearts, makes the covenant. Yeah. Because, because in our heart. Well, and let me tell you, a while ago we sat in there and I had this vision, a revelation. When Yeshua HaMashiach went on that cross, yes, Lord. he was like this. He went, he was walking through, through the the, the, that path that lays between two flashes of meat because uh, he was a sacrifice, okay? Yes. He opened himself up like this. Yes. He opened, he For opened himself up and become the living sacrifice. But yet he walked between the two halves of the sacrifice. And he was making a covenant from the cross to you, to me. To that I, he says, I am making a covenant with you. I make a promise. Yes, Lord. That I am going to redeem you. I am making a covenant 
that I will come back and I will receive you yes. to me. Yes. I do the generations. I mean, it's like I know. it says, Tina, Tina, Tina. I'm on the cross. I'm walking through no, the Lord. two flashes and I'm making a covenant, covenant with you. Can you hear me through the generations yeah, of time? I'm making a covenant with you. Yeah. I'm going to call you out. I'm going to call you, you out. Me. I'm going to make you part of my bride. Yes, hear me this yes, day. Lord. I'm making yes, a covenant. Yes. That's why I am dying. Yes, I'm going to take you off the trash heap of the this earth. Everything that you is go you have went through all the stuff that has cut you down all the things that have yes. broken you Thank into pieces you. Yes, all the things that the yes, world Lord, has told you on a trash heap I'm walking over there yes, and I'm Lord, gathering yes, up the pieces Lord, of you Lord. and I'm putting it back Lord, together Thank and you, I'm calling Thank you Lord. my Lord. bride Lord. I'm making a covenant Lord. with Lord. you as he did me yes we've went through hell here on earth people has molested us people has beaten us people has trashed us people has called us name people has spit on us people has slapped us people has used us and abused us and put us on the trash heap of that trash hole of this earth and Jesus comes along and he says oh you're so beautiful to me yes I'm That's picking what you up. beauty and the brokenness and is, you people. Back he you puts back us back together. together. He heals these hearts. He heals these hearts because they belong to Him. And so, therefore, we're no longer the trash nope. heap of this world. We are beautiful in His sight. Just he as has he is put us together. Because to He walked through those two flashes that was cut in one and lane on one side. And made to save us. And He promised us on the cross. Yes, Lord. He sent it down through the generations of time to us in these end days yes. saying, I promised you. Yes. I promised. And I will come back to get you. Yes. I promise, I go to the Father, I will build you a home, I will be you a beautiful home. Yes, he's preparing a place for us. I will build, build it, Lord. it will be glorious, it will be magnificent, it, it will be full of all the treasures of heaven, treasures you've never dreamed yep. of before, and I'm building it for you, for you. Thank you, Lord. I promised you this. I promise you this. If I break this promise, my father will dissolve the kingdom. Yeah. And that would never happen. And it can't happen. Because God is in control. It can't happen. He won't ha let it happen. No. And, and one day, one day, he will come for his bride. He will. I know. He will. With the jewels on the gown. I've seen the, oh, uh, the Lord has showed me. This beautiful white, the whitest white you've ever seen, flowing mm. like the veil, but flowing mm. like the back of a long wedding gown, like, like yes. you know, like you see in the pictures and fancy weddings. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we are the jewels. Each one of us is a jewel on yes. that dress. And okay, we are bright, brilliant, mm. beautiful jewels. Be more beautiful than any of the jewels this earth has produced in her dirt. Okay? We, they were so brilliant because they had the glory. Oh, wow. Because they had the glory of God in them. Yes. Because we belong to him. And they are. And that's who we are. That's who we are. And we will be placed. We see, we're not only the Jews, oh, but Lord, we wow. are placed in the body, too. You know, it's, <coughs> it, 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 it's a spiritual thing that's hard to imagine. What we're going to be going <coughs> into, me. and how we're going to be reformed, how we're going to be made anew, uh, and you know, uh, Ephesians talked about the one new man. We are going to be clustered together, yes. becoming that one new man, yes. that bride yes. of Yeshua, because yes. He promised it on the cross. Yes. He walked that path between the meats. He went yes. to hell. He took that key from Satan, and He said, your days are finished mm -hmm. and numbered. Oh, you have a little while left, Satan. But I'm coming back. I am coming back. I know. I know. And I'm going to get my bride. 
and there will be a glorious marriage as we become one with him and not sexually people this has nothing to do with sex this has to do when we drink that holy new wine that anointing wine, wine. and I take a sip of the he'll take a sip and each one of us will take, take a, a sip, sip and we become one with him Hebrews 8 8 says for God does not find fault with the people when he says mm. see the days are coming says Adonai when I will establish over the house of Israel and over the house of Yehuda Judah a new covenant who's the new covenant Yeshua HaMashiach yes it will not be like the covenant which I made with their fathers on the day when I took them by their hand and led them forth out of the land of Egypt because they for their part did not remain faithful to my covenant yes. we know what they did so I for my part stopped concerning myself with them says Adonai because they broke the covenant God never did okay for this is the covenant which see this is just what Barb said to you for this is the covenant which I will make with the house of Israel after those days says Adonai yes. I will put my Torah in their hearts mm -hmm. in their I mean excuse me in their minds and write it on their hearts okay do you understand that Yeshua HaMashiach is the Word of God and yes. Yeshua HaMashiach is written on your heart okay I and, love that. and the bride do you know that you're becoming the Word of God too mm -hmm. because you're one with him yes we are. okay I love this Lord thank you I will be their God mm -hmm. and they will be my people he'll take them kicking and screaming if mm -hmm. he has to yes see this is confirming what she just mm -hmm. said the Lord led me to okay none of them will teach his fellow citizen or his brother saying no Adonai for all will know me mm -hmm. from the least of them to the greatest because I will be merciful toward their wickedness and remember their sins no more by using the term new he has made the first covenant old mm -hmm. and something being made old something in the process of aging is on its way to vanishing altogether right okay do you understand he made a new mm. covenant with us he made the first covenant with Abraham Abram yes. passing between the pieces of meat God himself yes. did it yes. Yes. then he brought his son in and he Hallelujah. made a new covenant with us through Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus Christ the son of the mm. Most High God who took our place on the cross that day he took our place I pray that you understand mm, I pray that you can fathom a little bit of that mm. that he took your place he took my place he took Barb's place he took our place on the cross that day because we were yes. supposed to go yes we were but because of the it. way things happened and what happened in heaven and we haven't re revealed things we've been shown on that he took our place he took my place or place your place everyone's yes. place yes. on that cross there should have been five billion crosses on this earth but Yeshua HaMashiach stepped up and said I will do it father okay and he did and he, he made did. the new covenant the new promise to save us and he walked through those two yes, cut halves of meat making a covenant now we weren't even there no we were in seeds of some man walking yep. on earth waiting to in time to be, be born. born at this time mm -hmm. But he made that covenant with us before we were even mm -hmm. born. He didn't ask permission. No. He just did he it just like did God it. He did with Abraham. Did yes. He made that same covenant with us that Ab that God himself made, made Abraham. with Abraham yes. Yes. that died. Yes. Okay? Yes. This is a covenant that is binding, that is, is and I'm going to Sealed. tell you over here in Revelations chapter 11, I really feel led to this, and this is going to tick some people off, but I don't care. 11. I'm not, All the witnesses? I, I'm not here to serve man. I am here to, to serve, serve God. God. Now it says in chapter 11, And there was given me a rod like unto a reed, and I mean a reed like unto a rod. Reverse that around, huh? Yeah. And the angel stood saying, Rise, measure the temple of God and the altar, and them that worship therein. That is talking about the ones that are inside the temple, inside the where the holy is, and worshiping him. But the court which is out of the temple laying, live yeah, out lay out and measure it for it not measure it let me slow down but the court 
which is without the temple, leave out yep. and measure it not, for it is given to the Gentiles, the holy city, shall they tread under the foot, foot forty and two months. So, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score cl clothed in sackcloth and ashes. That's the reason why God revealed to me there's going to be two dirty men walking out of the desert into Jerusalem, and people will look at them with disgust because they're covered in sackcloth and ashes. Because, okay? because listen, let me interject for, about the two witnesses. We know they're Elijah and Enoch because they never died for it is for m man to be appointed to die yes. once. Yes. All right. Now listen, in Zechariah four, when when Zechariah asks and says in four eleven, I replied by asking him, "What are those two olive trees on the right and left sides of the menorah?" Yes. They're then I asked the question again: What are those two olive branches discharging gold-colored oil through the two gold spouts? And that's anointing oil. Yes. He replied, "Don't you know what they are?" I answered, mm -hmm. "No, my lord." He said, "Those are the two. These are the two witnesses mm -hmm. that were prophesied through Zechariah, Zechariah. Okay, those are the two who have been anointed with oil. They are standing with the Lord of all the land. So ever since, I want you to understand this. Ever since, ever since Elijah, Elijah was taken up in a whirlwind of chariot and ever since Enoch, Enoch, Enoch was just disappeared God just took him home they have been standing in the holy of holies where the menorah is and with two gold spouts coming out anointing them with God's rock and death yes, with the Holy yes, Spirit he did. they were getting them ready to witness to to this earth to the people at this to, time at this time coming. to bring them in to Yeshua before it's too late all right, all right. These are the two olive trees See? That's confirmed. and the two candlesticks standing before Mine God says of the earth. And if any man <coughs> shall me. hurt them, far proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemy. And if any man shall hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. Yep. It springs. Thus have power to shoot. Because you can't shut. touch God's anointed. No. You can't. You can't touch. And they are and very, they are very um, anointed. anointed. So they're this is why weird. they're just gonna they're just gonna die. You can't touch God's anointed no. people. And they have the power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened to Elijah. Yep, at when that he did. Point. Yes. And how power and have power over water to turn them to blood. Mm -hmm. And we will see a, a lot of blood water being I mean water turning into blood just like it did in Egypt. You know, when the water was turned to blood. And to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. So we're going to have a lot of plagues mm -hmm. that even at the first which of Revelations prophesied about. Well, I you know, know but we, horses. on several videos um, last year, the Lord showed us several things that were coming of yes. these things. And we, yes. we said many plagues were coming then. Yes, and, and they are. Yeah. They're getting ready to be released right now. The Lord right showed now. us that, yes. And when they shall have fi finished their testimony. Okay, this is where I'm telling you the testimony. What are they testifying to? Yeshua HaMashiach. And what else? God. The bride. Oh, yeah. Sorry. The bride. They're the testifying bride. to us. Yes. Yeah. They're, they're testifying they're about them to us. Yes, Lord. You know, this God revealed to me. Everybody talks about the pre-trip. I was once pre-trip. I'm beginning to change. We're mid-trip. Yeah, we are. We're going We're home really, with the witnesses. Let I, me tell you. Yeah. Yeah, because he's 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 testifing. He's witnesses. Because we got to walk through the Lamb's wrath. Uh, uh, yeah, because the Lamb is going to sort us because, out. Right, because we, if we stand for the Lamb, Yeshua HaMashiach, if we stand for Him, then we have to go through His His wrath. That's all there yeah. is to it. And what did Yeshua say? Excuse me. That if a part of your body, if your eye offends you, oh. pluck it out. Yeah. Let me go, go to Matthew. Read i got to read this because this is what the Lord showed me last yes, night when room. I was reading. Yes. Because Matthew I want 10. you, when she remembers this, he's talking about the body of Christ. Matthew 5, excuse be me. Warned. Okay, yeah, be warned because we've been warning you. Well, we told you last year at Passover, God started taking 11 out of our lives. Now, yes. listen, he's taking 11 out of yours too. And you you can see it mm -hmm. and you know, and this is confirming it to your hearts. Okay, Matthew 5, 27 says, You have heard that our fathers were told, do not commit adultery. But I tell you that a man who even looks at a woman with the purpose of lusting after her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. That's very important. Yes. That's not talking just about sex. That's talking about lusting after arms. other gods. Yes. 
other gods, okay, other other, gods, other th anything you put before yes. God. Yes. You, if you Woman, see it in your heart, man, gold, things. money, power. If you see something in your heart that you want, you're Lust desiring after. it, lusting. You're desiring it and lusting after it. It's before God. Yes. Remember, that's yes. what this is not yes. just talking about sex. This is talking about other gods, anything you put before God, idolatry. Yes. But here's here's what God showed me greatly last night as I was reading this. If your right eye makes you sin, gouge it out and throw it away. <clears throat> okay? You poke it out. And, and I always thought when I was a younger Christian mm -hmm. that that meant you, you, you literally took your eye out and, you know, got rid of it because it made you sin. And here's the next part. Better that you should lose one part of of you than your whole body be thrown into Gehinom, Gehinom, excuse me, or hell. And if your right hand makes oh, you... Oh, and did you notice, you people that don't believe in hell, there is where hell. they're going to be thrown yeah. hell. into you hell? You should okay? And if your right hand makes you sin, cut it off and throw it away. Better that you should lose one part of you than have your whole body thrown into Gehinom or hell. Mm hmm I literally thought back when you were a young Christian because you're just learning the mm -hmm. Word of God that you had to cut your body parts off that made you sin. But we keep telling you this is about a spiritual body. Okay? And the Lord showed me this greatly last night and I couldn't wait to share it with Barb. She already knew. But you know, I'm walking <laughs> in going, hey, that's not about cutting off my pieces of body. That's about the body of Christ. Yes. The Yeshua. What, what body do we belong to? We belong to Yeshua. You know, you remember, uh, uh, the bride, there's the foolish and there's the wise. Yeah, it's unfair. And the foolish benefits. bride is mixed in with yes, she the is. wisdom mm -hmm. one. But God, Yeshua, is going to sift the bride. And cut them and out. And he's going to cut off. And he does. And he will cut them out of your life like that. In a blink of an eye, they'll be gone. Don't, I mean, don't. we've seen this happen this past year with us. People, people come, people and keep they and go, and they're cut off. And God will open. You know, we did a video on praying for discernment to open your eyes to see the truth yes. of who is for Him and who is not. But that's what that's talking about. Cutting you need off to understand the parts of the, the body, body of, of the Christ. Christ. I mean, okay? the foolish ones. Mm -hmm. He's going to cut off, and we are too, because in First Corinthians. Paul yes, this story. goes up against the Corinthian yes. church. Why? Because they had a okay. bishop in the church, a ruler, bishop, mm -hmm. ruler over the church. He was having a sexual affair with his dad's, his father's wife. I guess his mother had died or something. But anyway, he had a wife that his son was having an affair with. The whole church knew it. Just like you guys, yeah, go ahead. Because, yes, Again, Lord, me I'll ever. finish saying it. You People will see people doing stuff, and you know about it. Yes, and, and, you, and okay. you just turn the other way. Because you just think it's okay because everybody else does. Just because they're a leader. Maybe they're a pastor. Maybe they're a bishop. And you know that that pastor, that bishop, or that Sunday school teacher, or whatever, is having an affair with another person. In the church, yeah, and you know about it, and they're both married to mm -hmm. different people. To be, and they're sinning, yes. But instead of cutting them out of the church, they were standing just up on. for the word of God. Yeah. They just going along, they just daily Bible. It. It's okay, yeah. it's okay. Till Paul got a hold of it, and Paul told them, "Oh no, oh no, this ain't going to work. You cut that man off. Mm -hmm. You drive him out." out. You drive, even Yeshua said, if you catch a man in sin, you go to them and you, you confront him. If he don't accept it, you take two, two witnesses, witnesses and you confront him. Yes, if Lord. he doesn't listen, you take him before the body. Mm -hmm. The whole body the of whole Christ. The whole body of Christ, the bride, and you confront him with it. If he does not repent, or she does not repent, then you cast them out, out. and render them to Satan. Yep. And let Satan deal with it. Yep. Okay? That's what they had to do. It's like... And, unless and, they repent. Unless they repent. Okay. If they don't repent, the repentance, they're gone. Unless they ask for forgiveness, they're gone. But, but in 2 Corinthians... They're kind of a little uh, stubborn. They don't get it all at the yes. one time. you got to come back. The poor man repented, and he was wanting to be back into the body of Christ. And they were going, no, 
no, no, no. Paul said, no, oh, no, oh, no. We're not going to let. So Paul gets a hold of that and go, oh, did you not learn? Goodness. Did you not learn repentance? What, what? He's repented. Yeah. He's repented. He's repented and stopped the sin. And you're going to leave him out there in the world? Mm -hmm. Oh, heavens no. He's repented. He's yes. truly repented. Bring him back into Bring him the back. body. You know. But this is what she just read about cutting Matthew off. Matthew If you, five, yep. if you are associating with somebody that is part of the body of Christ and they're sinning and, and they it. won't repent yep. and you try to get them to, you, you bring away. other witnesses with you. You bag, you plead. You don't go and criticize them, beat them over the head. No, you you're ask, bagging, yeah. you're pleading for them to repent if they don't. And if it's part of a body, a messianic body or something, you take them before the congregation and the whole congregation as a witness. You're you're, you're saying, please repent. We'll pray for you. Yes. We, will, we will go to them to the altar yes. we will kneel at the altar we will lay hands on you we will pray with you we will forgive you we will yes. love you and they still won't repent then you have to drive them out of the church yes. and as they walk down the aisle as they're escorted out of the church turn the people back. have to turn their, back turn their backs and shun yes. them letting them know it's unacceptable yep. until they become acceptable until they come do back you in. understand yes <laughs> That is the cutting off the arm. That's the gouging out, out of, of the, the eye. You've got to keep the body. The bride has to be yeah, pure. Yeah, she has to be righteous. And she can't keep nonsense around no. her. Period. So, uh, as as this, this is what these two witnesses are there. They're testifying yes, to Israel. To Israel, you've signed a peace treaty. You're under condemnation. You have put a star, and I, we will explain <coughs> more in the other, but yeah. I will tell you that you've put a star of Balaam on your flag instead of the menorah. And you are worshiping a demon. You're worshiping an evil god with that star up there because it is an evil star. I used to wear the star. The star of David, of David, they call yeah. the star of David. They call it star of David. It's the not Jewish the star, star. It's not of David. Um, it's really on the seal of Solomon, not the star of David. But anyway, when I God led me to do the study on the star, and I found out what it really is. Yes. I took that star, and I threw it as far away from me as I could because I will not wear the star of Balaam yeah. upon no, this no. body. Can't. That's why I'm I will, go deeper into that. I will not have the flag of Israel in my house because of the star. If it had the menorah on yep, there, it's the menorah. Oh man, I'd be glad to have it's it. It's the you menorah. Know? But the two witnesses is come to witness for a purpose. Who are they coming to witness to? I know now. The bride, us, us all of us who belong in the body of Christ. He's saying, "Get yourself clean." Yep. You, you wise, get your oil. Yes, in there because he's ready. coming. He's get coming. Right up. He's okay. coming. And let's go on down for a little ways longer. Because let me tell you. The beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit. You know, you see over there in the next, uh, the other chapter when the star fell and the pit was open. And, and that, that beast, uh, the Apollo, uh, rose up because he's the king of the pit. He rises out and he makes war with against them mm -hmm. and shall overcome them and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom, Sodom, Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. That's Jerusalem. And they, then all the people and kin and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in grave. And they that shall dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them, and make merry, and shall send gifts one to another. Boy, they're going to have Christmas there. You know why? Around. Because, because <laughs> read it. Because these two prophets tormented them. Tormented them. them. Why, that, did, why, no. why were they tormented, Barb? Because they wouldn't repent of their sin. Because the Rock Kadesh, the Holy Spirit, is going to be speaking through them because they are so anointed from God that he's, it's, it's a consuming fire. It's, a, it's the, 
The tongue, yes, Lord, yes. slow down. Thank you, Lord. It's the tongue yes. that, that, that Yeshua speaks with. Yes. That convicts us because it's God's yes. holy spirit, rock and dash, mm -hmm. coming forth. And what does it do? It goes right into our heart and it convicts us of sin. And yes. you either fall to your knees and repent of your sins. Yes. Or you're going to die in your, in your sin. sin. I mean, and what does Romans say? The wages of sin is, is death. death. So okay. it tormented them. Why were they tormented? Because mm -hmm. they wouldn't repent. Okay, go. Ahead. Okay. And after three and a half, yes, Lord. the Spirit of life from God, yes, from God entered into them, and they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. Praise God. Hallelujah. And they ascended up to heaven in praise a cloud. God, okay, and Thessalonians does it not say praise, that he shall praise, come and get yes, praise in a cloud God, yes. and we shall ascend up and in a cloud. Up, as soon as you said it. come up here, I could hear it. And their enemies beheld them. And the same hour was their great earthquake, and tenth part of the city fell, and the earthquakes were slayed of men seven, seven thousand, thousand and the raiment were the raiment was afflicted and gave glory to the God of heaven and let's go on this was the second what we has passed but this is important listen to me because it speaks of the trumpet of God sounding when we arise up in the air okay right after this happened the seventh trumpet sounds. Mm -hmm. Did you notice the that? The seventh, seventh angel trumpet. sounded his shofar. That's the seven trumpets. Seven. Yeah. The seven trumpets sounding. Okay, so okay. go line it up in the seven trumpets over okay. in. Go ahead. Uh, okay. And the seventh angel sounded. There were great voices in heaven saying the kingdom of this world are become the kingdoms of the Lord and of Christ and he shall reign forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their face and worshiped God saying he gave the thanks. We give thee thanks O Lord God Almighty which art which was and are to come because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and has reigned and the nations were angry and their wrath come and the time of the dead that they should be judged and they shall should and thou shouldest give reward to thy servants wow so we're ascending up into heaven, mm -hmm. the bride, the servants, and reward shall be given the servants, the prophets, and to the saints, the, and them that fear the name shall, small and great, and ha shall less, should it destroy, destroy them. them which destroy the Mine earth. Mine says it is also time for destroying those who destroy the earth. Yes. So, so God's wrath, so the Lamb's wrath will happen, witnesses will come. To, and then, to, to witness to to witness I, to us, and then God's wrath will happen for those who did not repent when the witnesses were here. Yes, yes. Because, because don't you understand? God's wrath has to come. God's after wrath has to come after we're gone because we're walking. We walk through the Lamb's wrath. The witnesses come to 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 prepare, to prepare us. us and to have those repent mm -hmm. to make sure we are prepared so that we repent of everything, mm -hmm. and, and then we go home. But then God's wrath comes upon those who did not repent. Yes. Because as they are ascending up into heaven before people's eyes, mm -hmm. as witnesses, as witnesses, do, do you understand the layers? They're ascending as witnesses who are also witnesses right now to his name, to yes. your most holy name, Yeshua HaMashiach. Who are your witnesses? Yes. The bride. Yes. And they will come down. They will renew us. Mm -hmm. They will witness to us mm -hmm. that we are who we yes. are. And, and we when we will see them die. And when they come alive, because we know in three and a half days, the they're going to come back. The enter them, yes. And they're going to come back. Yes. And we are there waiting, prepared, because the minute they're ascending up into heaven, we're going to ascend because God, Jesus, Yeshua, is coming after his bride in the clouds of glory. When those clouds of glory come down and take those two witnesses, we're going home. Right behind them. They're going to lead the way. 
They're going to lead the way mm -hmm. for us mm -hmm. to ascend up into heaven to that to be prepared for that wedding mm -hmm. that is in chapter 19 that many people I mean this was but I mean because I, it says in first Thessalonians okay in first Thessalonians 1 10 it says and to wait for his son Yeshua whom he raised from the dead to appear from heaven and rescue us from the impending fury of God's judgment okay mm -hmm. right. God's judgment God's judgment and then it says here in 5 mm -hmm. um, first Thessalonians 5 says for God has not intended that we should experience his fury Mm -mm. but that we should gain deliverance through our Lord Yeshua HaMashiach so, who died on our behalf so that whether we are alive or dead yes we may live along with him yes so do you see there are two scriptures in one that say we're not going through God's wrath we have to go through the Lamb's wrath yes, because do. things have to be cut off of the bride the things that are not pure and holy those people that mm -hmm. are not pure and holy they and living in this off. life they will be cut off like an arm is cut off of a natural body mm -hmm. and thrown into the trash to be burned okay thank you Lord because because first Thessalonians thank you Lord uh, 416 says for the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a rousing cry with a call from one of the ruling angels and with mm -hmm. God's shofar Okay, those who died united with the Mashiach will be the first to rise. Mm -hmm. Then we who are left still alive will be caught up with them in the clouds. And what did you just say in Revelation 11? Mm -hmm. Okay, to meet the Lord in the air. And mm -hmm. thus we will always be with the Lord. So encourage each other with these words. And see, that's 416. The witnesses will be dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're going to oh, oh, and they're going to rise first. Hallelujah! They're going to come into life, and they're going to rise first. Mm -hmm. And we, the, they're going to lead us the up. Way up. up. They're Thank they're going to lead the way. Up. God's they word go, is he, so he amazing. Goes before they go before that just us. confirms it. And this is what. Well, go, wow. I, I, this is why we're making this because we was going to make it total different. Oh video. yeah, we're we're starting the water study finally. Okay. <laughs> but we was going to do it, but God re started revealing, revealing these things to us. To us, and when He revealed in a vision, I could yeah. see the two witnesses over there. They come walking up mm -hmm. to the welling wall, and they begin to witness and testify. I can see us. Going to, going Israel, to Israel and seeing them because we have a great desire to mm -hmm. see them. We want to see them. We, I, I want to see yes, them. Yes, we do. I want to stand yes, before we do. them. We want to stand before them. And when we go over there and we walk up to the Welling Wall on the men's side that we're not supposed to be on, I'm sorry, but uh, excuse me, tradition will be broke. You're going to have at least two women standing mm -hmm. over there on the men's side of yep. the welling wall because we will walk up there and we will fall on yes, our knees, knees before these before two mighty these witnesses that witnesses. God yes. sent. And we yes, will Lord, begin yes. to praise yes. Yeshua HaMashiach. Yes, we will. We will yes, begin we to will. praise Him. Yes, we will, Lord. And I can see the two witnesses walk Lord. over Thank and you. they will lay their hand upon our heads and say, Blessed are you, for you are part of the bride. You have been chosen thank from you, the Lord. foundation thank of the world. Yes. Thank you you thank are you. Thank blessed. You. Thank you. And they will bless us with the yes. mighty blessing of Yo Yahweh himself, the one and true God. <coughs> and He will. they will bless yes, us thank you. Thank with you. the blessing of eternal life. <coughs> And we will yes, Lord. ascend yes. into yes, heaven yes. Thank you. Thank as you. they yes, lead Lord. us to. Because we yes, will Lord. not be here during the wrath yes, of God. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. We yes. will not See be. See the promises in the Word. See the promises we have in His Word. It, it began with a promise. Mm -hmm. a, a, an awesome, amazing promise. Father God Yahweh yes. made with Abram himself. Yes. And look at the promises we have all the way. And Yeshua. All the way through. Thank Yeshua you, Lord. Yeshua has made these promises yes. to us. Yes, he has. He's made them to yes, us. He has. Thank you, Lord. Thank and you. And we you. will thank see. Thank you. Blessed be we your most holy name. We will see the two witnesses. Yes, we will. And you know what would be awesome? They'll be speaking in Hebrew, but we will hear them in our languages. Yeah. It would be awesome. Because I can't speak no. uh, Hebrew or unless... God will automatically oh, put yeah. the Good. understanding of it, the Hebrew it, in my mind in where I will know 
What they're possibly. saying, even in Hebrew. Yes, uh, possibly. I, I, you know what? Nothing is impossible. Nothing's impossible with God. Who I don't this? know, but I do know through these revelations wow. we had, we're going to be here when the witnesses I know we are. are here. Yes, we are. And we're go I we're know, going to see them. I know we're going to go over yeah. there. I don't know about you guys. We're going. I'm, we're going. I know they're fearsome. I know they could strike us dead. They could breathe far out of their mouth and just burn us to a crisp. But when we fall on our knees and we yes. begin to praise the Son of God and praise God, yes. and we begin to praise Yeshua on the streets of Jerusalem yes. by the willing wall, when we begin to praise Him and they lay their hands, they're no, they're being filled up. What does it say? Zechariah. The Zechariah five, says I believe four, Zechariah they're four. being filled up with a golden anointing oil. oil. And when they come over there, they're going to release that golden anointing oil right into us. Yes, they are. Right into it, it, us. It would be Zechariah 4. Read that whole 4, 1 through 13, 14. But um, at the very end there, it talks about yes. they are filled with yes. gold-colored oh, oil, anointing wow. oil. And when they lay those hands upon us to begin to bless yes, us, thank you. to 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 witness to people saying, <coughs> "These me, this are change. the bride." This is why we yes. come to testify. Yes, we are come to tell you yes. of the goodness of Yahweh and what Yeshua did. And wow, these Lord, are what? the bride. I'm telling you, revelations what? are amazing. Yes, it's amazing when you study His Word, and He just reveals more and more and more. And you, it's thank you, Lord. Just, but I, I'm going to Jerusalem. Thank you. I am. I want to go to Jerusalem. It's a city that bears His name. Well, I'll just grab your hand and we'll go. Because it's a city that bears His name, and I've always mm -hmm. wanted. I believe my favorite. I mean, I, I know the Word of God, you know, but um, my favorite scriptures are in the Blessing on the Mount, Matthew yes. five. Okay, I the yes. Lord had me read that last night for my Sabbath study. Mm -hmm. I was going to work on. Um, Zechariah, Ze Ze Zechariah in, in the water study I'm doing, but um, mm -hmm. he had me read Matthew, yes. and there was a reason because he revealed that to me about the it's the body of Christ. But those scriptures, in, mm -hmm. yes, Lord, we'll turn to them now. Isn't this awesome? I just saw something in my mind. She's a gentile. Yes, I am. Enoch comes to her. Mm -hmm. I am a Jew. Mm -hmm. Elijah, Elijah comes to Elijah me. Elijah will come to you. Woo. The Lord said, "Read this, because this yes. remember this, because I've always wanted to go over there and step on the I love on you, the, honey, on the Mount of Blessing when when Yeshua was standing up there, addressing the crowd, and mm. He spoke these words. This is my favorite, okay, because it's Him speaking, the Son of God speaking to the people, and He says in Matthew, Matit Yah, chapter five, verse one says. Seeing the crowds, Yeshua walked up the hill. After he sat down, his Talmudim, his disciples, came to him, and he began to speak. And this is what he taught them. Mm -hmm. He's just sitting there. Yes. Just speaking these words. And how powerful these words are from mm -hmm. him. How blessed are the poor in spirit, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. How blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. How blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. How blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be mm. filled. How blessed are those who show mercy, for they will be shown mercy. Mm. How blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Mm -hmm. How blessed are those who make peace, for they will be called the sons of God. How blessed are those who are persecuted because they pursue righteousness, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. How blessed are you when people insult you, and persecute you and tell all kinds of vicious lies about you because you follow me. Rejoice, be glad, because your reward in heaven is great. They persecuted the prophets before you yes. in the same way. Yes. We did a video the other day on healing comes through forgiveness. Hold on to Yeshua. Yes. It is the same it is the it is the same thing here. Mm -hmm. When you forgive people, this is how your heart becomes, because this is describing mm -hmm. the heart of the bride. Yes, Do that's you see why that? we have to forgive people. Do you we see this is describing? Yes, because this describes the heart of the bride. This is how your heart has to be mm -hmm. to be part of Him, to be with Him, to be in His service, to be yes. obedient to Him, to to be in love with Him, to be everything with Him. Mm -hmm. 
and, and and we have to forgive our enemies. Yes. We have to forgive yes. them because the mercy that we show others is the mercy that God will judge us, us by. With. Yes. What Yeshua Himself will judge us by. If we have hate and bitterness in our heart and we have no forgiveness, we are we will be one of those lags or arms or eyes gouged out, gouged cut off, off and yes. thrown into the fire. Yes. Yes. There is no hope for us. If we do not if we do not learn right now, and I just feel it in my spirit, it's like it's screaming out. If you do not learn to forgive and have mercy upon yes. others now, I will not forgive you. I will yes, not Lord. have mercy yes. upon you, and I will judge you in wrath. I will cut you off. I will throw you in the the broken tree limbs that's out there rotting and decaying and I will set you on fire. Because why? That's because when his son hung on the cross, yes Lord. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, Son of the Most High God, looked out and said to them, Father, forgive them for mm -hmm. they know not what they do. It takes forgiveness to truly love somebody. If, if Yeshua had not have done that that day, he would have lost his portion yes. with his father. Yes. He would not have gained the seat that sits before by the side by of his father. Of he had to show the very example <clears throat> that we are supposed to, to live follow. by. And who do we follow? We follow Yeshua HaMashiach and Jesus Christ. Yes, we do. So if you follow him... He is the perfect example. This, this word of God, King James, whatever version you're reading, He is the example we are to follow. Go back and study Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Yes. Study His and, walk. And we have to walk in His likeness. Yes, we do. If you're the bride, you're becoming part yes. one. You're becoming one like you're this. Becoming one, one with one, Yeshua. One. Yes. And He ain't going to take some bride with hate, bitterness, no. and anger in them. No. He just ain't. No, he's not. He won't. He won't have anything no. to do with you. He will cut you off. The only way you can make it is total forgiveness. Total forgiveness. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something. When it does, it sets you free. Yes, it does. It sets you. We are so free in Christ. And your body will be healed. Yep. Your spirit will be healed. Yep. Your mind will be healed. Yep. You will become so healthy that it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I know I'm an example. Yep, she once, is. once I begin to learn to forgive my enemies, I bless them, I forgive them, I have no animosity against them. I, I, I don't. I, I have mercy upon them because I don't want to see them die and go to hell. Because you know that's our main. You know, I, I pray that's your desire in your heart. Mm -hmm. When when Yeshua said, "Love your enemies," don't wish or desire anything to happen to anybody. You know, I'll say to Barb. I don't desire that on my worst enemy. No, I, I don't. Because curse listen my to me, how hurt have you been? Yes. How broken have you been? How stomped on have you been? How 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 have you felt mm -hmm. when everyone has turned against you and hurt you? Yes. Do you have the heart that purposely goes out and hurts people, or do you forgive them and love them anyway? Yes. And would you give them a cup of water yep. if they were thirsty, yep. or would you throw it in their face and laugh at them? Yep. Because let me tell you something. Here you we go. know greatly heaven is real. Yes. And God is true. Yes, Lord. And do you know how real mm -hmm. hell is? How real hell is? And do you know what hell is? It's eternally separated from a God who loves you. Mm -hmm. Who gave his son up for you. Who sent his son to save you. Do you, do you desire that? Do you, I mean, mm -hmm. look, in, look in your heart of hearts. Do you really mm -hmm. desire for someone to go to hell? Because they didn't repent and come to Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, in your heart of hearts. Or maybe they offended you, yes. made hurt your feeling, and now you're going, oh, I want them to go to hell. No. No. Who, what kind you're of curse, person would do that? You're cursing your own self. How could you want to be eternally separated from love? And you're putting, every time you curse somebody that and want them to die and go to hell, you're putting that curse upon yourself. It comes back on you. Deuteronomy. Yes. 28. I mean, we have to learn to curses. forgive and love even our enemies mm -hmm. and pray that they repent and come pray to heaven. That they will come us. back. 
Yes, we because must it's do a terrible this. place they're going to, people. And death will eat at their flesh forever and ever. And we and can't ever fathom ever. forever. We're in human fleshly bodies, people. Yes, we can't fathom what forever is. We can't even fathom what it would be to be eternally separated from love forever. You know what? God showed me that you won't even get in hell. You don't even get a new body. You have this no, flesh. You have this it flesh goes rotting. down and it's rotting and it's decaying and in death is eating at it. And you don't get to see God. I mean, you're you're just out there and. And nothing hopelessness if that's what you want keep on the road you're in if that's not what you want repent and come repent. to Yeshua no. HaMashiach because he's waiting for don't you don't let pride keep you from yes. repenting don't let okay. your own pride that thinking that you're always right keep you from repenting and coming yes. back to God coming back to his son yes. Yeshua HaMashiach come in back the name yes Lord the name repent. Lord God yes repent. Lord God Repent, he is repent. calling you. He is calling you right now before it's too late. Yes. He's calling you to come back, fall yes, on your knees yes. and repent. And if you don't repent and you try to go over there and see those two witnesses, oh, oh I'll go over there and see those two witnesses, you may be burned yeah. to a crisp. Can't, because, come, and, yeah, can't come against okay. God's anointed. All right, Lord, bless this video yes. right now to your yes. glory. Yes, Lord, thank you. Anoint those that are being called yes. out. Yes. And let them hear this yes. video. I know it's lengthy, but I pray that they will listen to the end. Yes, Lord. And the anointing yes. oil flow from this video over yes, them. Lord. Anoint them, yes, heal Lord. them, yes, bless Lord. them, yes. Yes, bring Lord. them yes. into yes. you, yes. and fill yes. their heart with yes. mercy yes. and love. Yes. In the name of Yeshua we HaMashiach. Your blood of protection oh. over this video right yes, now in right. the power of your most holy name Lord Yeshua yes, Hamashi of Nazareth Rakadesh I pray and ask that you will fill the people up and open their hearts to hear and receive this message for those of you who you are calling right now to call them back into repentance to call them back in to be washed clean by the blood of the lamb to call them back into your kingdom Lord we love you and praise you and bless your holy name in Yeshua's most precious holy name we pray Amen and Amen before, before Hagar was given. Hagar was given yep. to him. This before any child was birthed or born. Yep. He had the promise of having many children, but he hadn't had one yet. And Eli Ezer from Damasek, which is Damascus, inherits my possessions. You haven't given me a child, Abram continued, so someone born in my house will be my heir. But the word of Adonai came to him. This man will not be your heir. No, your heir will be a child from your uh, own body. Now let us know that who he was speaking of is his servant his mm -hmm. very deep trusted servant, servant okay. okay that he was talking about that abraham or abram before he got the name abraham he, he was going to give it to his servant yeah because that's what they did then if you didn't yes. have children they passed it to their closest servant okay then he brought him outside and said look up at the sky mm -hmm. and count the stars now back then we didn't have the pollution and all the stuff that blocked the sky okay mm -hmm. I guarantee you when mm -hmm. Abram looked up at that sky whoa there were millions okay the universe is bigger than we can imagine you gotta watch that video um, <laughs> the universe God is bigger than we can imagine we can yes. fathom in our human brains yes. okay he okay. is He's he is Bar Barb gave you an awesome vision she had of God and how big he is okay the universe is huge huge stars mm -hmm. millions of them so he looked up and he's seen these stars and God says, if you can count them, your descendants will be that many. And we're talking generation after generation all the way down the line, okay? To right now. To now. Because generations are yep. here now. Okay. Your descendants will be that many. God has promised praise. And we thank you and we love you and we praise you. We thank you for everything. We thank you for who you are, Father. We thank you for your son. We thank you, Lord Yeshua, for taking our place. We thank you for shedding your blood for us so that we can come before you. Thank you. We thank you for defeating death and taking the victory and for rising again and preparing a place for us right now. We thank you for every special gift upon us, every blessing upon us, and we thank you most of all for choosing us because that is what you have shown us today in your word. Yes. Father God, you made the covenant with us yourself. Yes. Yes. So, Rahakadesh, I pray and ask that you will fill Barbara and I up and please bless us with your yes. words of truth to speak today. Ooh, yes. And please open the hearts yes. of the people to hear and receive these words of truth from your word. Yes. We love you and praise you and bless your holy name. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen.
Okay, we're going to go to Genesis 15. And I want her to read it out <coughs> of the Jewish, complete Jewish Bible. Don't want to offend nobody, but it needs to be read out of this. Okay. okay. <coughs> Excuse me, Lord. Okay, sometime later, the word of Adonai came, came to Abram in a vision. Don't be afraid, Abram. I am your protector. Your reward will be very great. You hear that right there? Yes. He's our protector. Oh, yes, he is. Our protector. God himself said, I am your protector. Okay? And your reward will be very great. Abram replied, Adonai God, what good will your gifts be me if I continue childless? And now, this is... The Jews, the Hebrews, went and took Egyptians' gold, mm -hmm. their jewelry their possessions with them they just walked right in and took mm -hmm. it and god's word yes. says that okay as for you you will join your ancestors in peace and be buried at a good old age only in the fourth generation will your descendants come back here because only then will the amori be ripe for punishment because where was this taking place at barb where was this where was this sacrifice taking place at it was taking yeah. place in israel yes Okay, remember Abram had traveled all over? Mm -hmm. This sacrifice was taking place in, in Israel. See, it in that the promised land. In the promised land. Because he was traveling through the promised right. land. Okay. He, but he didn't know it, you know. Yeah, he just didn't but know it. He just didn't yet. know it all yes, yet. But God was telling him right okay. here. Yes. That's where it was. Yes. Because right we there. know that when he took Isaac up, where did he take Isaac to? Jerusalem, Jerusalem to Mount Moriah. And I think this is where this was happening. This is where this was happening Moriah. because yes. where does God make covenants? On, on his mountain. On the city that bears his name. Jerusalem bears his name. Yes. Okay. All right. So we had to wait. They had to wait for the fourth generation to come back because someone had to be punished, the Amori. Okay. After the sun had set and there was thick darkness. A smoking fire pot and a flaming torch appeared, which passed between these animal parts. Uh, now, before uh, wait, I go uh, any further... It was thick, thick darkness. Thick darkness. Why? Because he couldn't see. Because Abraham was not supposed to see the face of God. No, he couldn't see him. No. Nope. Seeing him that right mm -hmm. there. He believed in Adonai, and he credited it to him as righteousness, which Hebrews confirms. Yeah, because see, he, it's like, you know, somebody tells you something, and he could have went, yeah, right. Yeah. I ain't got no kids. How do you say in that? But no, he just believed him. He believed him because he was God. Okay. Yeah. Then he said to him, I am Adonai who brought you out from Ur-Kazdim to give you this land as your possession. He replied, Adonai God, how am I to know that I will possess it? He answered him, bring me a three-year-old cow, a three-year-old female goat, and a three-year-old ram, and a dove, and a young pigeon. He brought him all these, cut the animals in two, and placed the pieces opposite each other. But he didn't cut the birds in half. Birds of prey swooped down on the carcasses, but Abram drove them away. As the sun was mm -hmm. about to set, because you know Jewish days go from sunset to sunset, mm -hmm. a deep sleep fell on Abram. Horror and great darkness came over him. Mm -hmm. Adonai said to Abram, know this for certain. Your descendants will be foreigners in a land that is not theirs. And what did, what did the Jews, the Hebrews, have to do? They had to go take Israel. Yes. Okay. The Remember that? They had, they had to, to go, go take, take it. it. They will be slaves and held in oppression there for 400 years. And we all know the story of Egypt and Moses. Yep. He told him right he there. He told him. He, he prophesied. Said, God prophesied to Abram right there. He said, your people's going to be spend 400 years in, in bondage. Egypt in bondage. Mm -hmm. He already told okay. him. Okay. But I will also judge that nation, the one that makes them slaves. Afterwards, they will leave with many possessions. And isn't that exactly what happened mm -hmm. when God judged Pharaoh and Pharaoh hardened his heart? Mm -hmm. <sighs> praise the Lord on this Sabbath yes, day. Yes, praise you, Lord. Thank you. And Tina and I are here and we're studying the word and praising God. Praising God and, and talking. And, and there's an awesome revelation that God gave us. Mm-hmm. He gave this he gave to us, us today, today on the Sabbath, on the Sabbath day. to understand who we Ooh. are. Ooh. Anyway. We need to understand who we are. Yes. I know, Major, but you need to let me do this, baby. Okay. Yeah. I, I, before she prays, because I love for my sister to pray. She prays awesome. God blesses her prayers. Don't think they don't. She don't. 
They don't. But anyway, this is a very important word that God has given both of us to give you together two yes. witnesses. Okay, yes. two witnesses, not the two witnesses no. that will end up in Israel. No, 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 no. But we are just Inyan. two witnesses of His watchmen on the wall. Yes. He gave us. You confirming vision, the beginning of the I, water studies? You're oh, saying all those words. Oh yes. Yeah, I know. He he gave us yes. such a vision today. It is important that you you receive the word, especially those that are called, called to be the bride. bride right now. It is important. Yes. Important. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father Yahweh, Lord Yeshua Hamashiach, and mm -hmm. Rahakadesh. Lord, we come boldly to your throne of grace today and we give you all the honor and glory and